period. Well, Chris, here's a video. How you doing, folks? Very welcome. We were Sam. We were Shave. That's fine, too. We're here in Belly Mac this evening and we're cutting a bit of maze. We're with the Leahys. And in the background there, over my shoulder, I see him there, lot. Like, uh, go the other way, that fella. Mr. CVX. If you're not subscribed to him on YouTube, give him a look, give him a look up. Mr. CVX, he does all CVX tires, case, all that kind of stuff. Um, we're here with the Leahys. I have a nice bit of drone footage got already. Um, there's a Fint, there's a couple of John Deere's, and um, there's a Valtra drone. So we'll swing around the camera and we'll give um, a look at the whole. I think she's a 7.7 John Deere. Champion 460 head. You see they're chopping away, they sucked into the front of the harvester. Of course, I have a video of the Leahys last year cutting as well. Mays in Ireland is not. I won't say it's not a bad crop, but it's not a very, very successful crop until I suppose about 20 years ago. Um, they did a fellow in Limerick by the name of Sam Shine came up with this idea of more or less a greenhouse or a, or a glass house. And they set the maze now under plastic. Sam Shine has come up with this machine, this fantastic machine that lay down a very, 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 very light film of plastic. Um, or they don't call it plastic, what they call it is film and when it lays down the, the plastic film cover it, um, it creates kind of a more or less a, a greenhouse or a, a glass house effect whatever you want to call it and um, I think it's, it's something like 14 to 20 degrees extra in temperature that it creates every year we'll give a, a look at that there in only a minute as well and it's biodegradable it rots away into the ground and um, we'll walk up there in a minute to where Mr. CVX is plowing and um, you'll see where it's just gone, it's just it's just disappeared, it's completely, they're plowing, there's direct setting straight away in, in for some winter barley, I don't know if it's a winter barley or whole crop to be honest, but they're setting away. You'll see him coming up the other side here now. We have a good bit of drone footage, so we, we, we'll sneak in the drone footage every place we can. Conditions are actually very good, considering it's the... I'm not too sure it is, what date is it. It's about, uh, I'd say very close to the 20th of October. Of course, conditions for maize this time of the year, maize can be very, very difficult, very, very tough conditions certain times of the year. But, you know, the last couple of years in Ireland, we're getting away with it. <coughs> Excuse me. I remember even going back, I suppose about 15 years ago, we were at silage. And conditions were just unbelievable. I remember I was driving a knowing K load and shovel. Pushing trailers and pushing tractors around the field.
Vahan trailers. Fantastic trailer. You see Mr. CVX there again in the background, he's plowing away. There's some road off that harvester, lads. Well, they're going around. Well, they're going around. We give a quick look at the plastic. This is the plastic here. Like they don't call it plastic, they call it film. It's a biodegradable film. And of course this is your cob, if I can open it with one hand. That's more or less the same as what you would buy in the shop and just opening it. That's it. See your corns inside this. And each plant each plant contains at least two heads, a minimum of two corn heads. That's in there, look. There was a third one just starting, but he never came to much. And in, inside the harvester, there's what they call a crimper. And the crimper actually, if I can open this up, the crimper completely crushes the, the, the corn. You can see it here now. No, it completely crushes out that. And it's coming here now around the corner again. It's a very, very, very high protein protein feed for cattle. There is a couple of um, different outfits around the country that they actually put it into bales now. And everything. Now they do reckon that if you're cutting a small amount of of maize, that you should you should really put it into put it into a pit and cover it completely cover it with silage, completely cover it with grass silage. That'll actually keep away, as I do call them, the heebie-jeebies or the undesirables, the the vermin. And they also reckon when you're feeding the maize that you should only barely open it, barely open the pit, because it actually is inclined to get very mouldy very fast. So I'm told. Very, very windy, I hope you can hear me.
How you doing folks? We're here in the same field as the Lee he's cutting the maze and we have Mr. CVX if you've never heard of him give him a look up on YouTube with a TVT she's a styre with a New Holland clothes with a 4 4 reversible plow You can see the maze there in the background. See what's left over of the film there, the film for the maze. Hanging off the plow. Fully biodegradable. Actually, to the best of my knowledge, me is its own, me is no relations. It says its own crop developed by the, I think it's by the, but are they down in South America? The Aztecs are the, are the Incas, developed by them first, and then the, the Native Americans grew it for food. Very, very high in energy for cattle. Some lovely ground there for plowing straight. I think that I can say I think they're on planting barley. Or it could be barley for barley, or it could be barley for whole crop. So me it's supposed to be great for getting rid of the nitrogen over the soil. It takes up the roots go way down into the ground there. Hundred. Everything is a hundred John. I better go to work.
right guys, that's kind of it for the plowing. Thanks again to Mr. CVX. If you're not following him, keep a look at him. And like myself, give a like, give a subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next one. How you doing folks? Same field as the TVT and the Maze Harbour thing with the last video. We have a Valtra with, I think it's an Amazon, i get my head into it, speaking off, get my head, an Amazon Cedar, belong to the Leahy's and Causeway, give a look at it here. They're setting winter barley. There was maize in this field less than an hour ago. looking back for we have Mr. Watson, Mr. CVX over there on the far side Of course, if you set winter barley this time of the year, it will be up and it'll get, what it does, basically, it gets a massive head start on in next year. So, like, this would be well able to be harvested, probably, depending on the summer, depending on conditions. But I would imagine this will be harvested in late July, early August 2023. The power harrow and the cedar is actually very hard with the tractor. Power wise, it takes a lot of horsepower to drive it. What a fantastic rig, of course, and they are cedared in as well. On top of the power harrow. So guys, if you haven't already, give a like, give a subscribe to my channel. And thanks to everyone that has already, and thanks to everyone that watched my videos. We're getting there, I don't know where we're going, but we're getting there. When we reach 2,000 subscribers, we will be giving, or when we reach Whatever mark it is, 2,000 or 3,000 subscribers will be giving away something, a bit of model tractor or something like that, or we'll come up with something to give away anyway. We have a model JCB for 2,000 subscribers. So when we 
we hit 3,000, we'll be hopefully on the ball with something else. And we have across the ditch here, this is Leahy's as well. With the maze. He's with the Valtra and we have TVT across the other side with him. Alright guys, give a like, give a subscribe and um, we'll try on a bit of drone footage there and uh, see how we go. Cheers guys. Near the harvester. Rattling away there in the background. You should be.
the video.